I'm being molded into the person I want to be. So in this video, it's about three things that Clay taught me about spirituality. Hey, 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 it is your girl, Abby, AKA New Age Coach here, lighting the way for those on their way to the light, to my soul vibers. That is those of you who are already subscribed. Thank you. Anyone new who's just tuning in, welcome. On the channel, we talk all things self and soul development. So if you like that vibe and wanna join the tribe, hit subscribe. Right there, yeah. I had the opportunity to do kind of a crafting project with family and it was just another cool way during quarantine to spend quality bonding time to create something new and it was a blast. And in doing that, there were lessons that I realized are so applicable to those of us on this spiritual journey. So first we'll hop into just a little montage so you can kind of see the whole process of the art project I created and then I'll talk about the three things that Clay taught me. that clay taught me is that when i pulled it out of that package it was just this blob it was just this unformed undefined blob of clay that's what it was and in that it meant that i could shape that into anything i wanted it to be it has unlimited potential unlimited possibilities to become whatever i wanted to create out of it and I was the artist. I was the creator to, who got to make that decision. How perfect is that when it's related to a spiritual awakening? Because on this journey, when you step into it, you really come to an understanding that you are a creator. You're co-creating your own life with God, with source, with the universe. But you have a say in how your life will go through your thoughts, through your beliefs, through your actions, through your emotions. You have all of these tools that you are responsible for that will help you to shape your life into whatever mold you want it to fit. And you are that artist of your own life just the same. The second thing that Clay taught me about spirituality is that you gotta roll with it, okay? So there was a part in the process where you took the clay out of the wrapping paper and you had to like roll it down just to make it thin so that you could break it apart and shape it into little pieces or whatever you wanted to do. And in that rolling of it, it clicked to me that <laughs> you gotta roll with the punches. Specific to the clay, it meant that there were gonna be times where I was trying to put something together and it did not go the way I wanted it to or it didn't look right or I had to break it apart and restart from scratch and I had to roll with that and just go with it in that moment if it wasn't working out. It was a lesson that sometimes you have to start over. Sometimes it's not gonna be so perfect. It'll have cracks in it, for example, in the clay. And if you want it to be a little bit smoother or not be that bumpy, then you'd have to roll it out and put effort to fix it, right? So a lesson I learned is you gotta roll with it. There might be cracks. You might have to start over. It's not always gonna be smooth. And when relating that to a spiritual awakening journey or just life overall, again, how symbolic. Life is not this beautiful process every single day, every single moment. I mean, it's beautiful in the grand scheme. Yes, that's not what I mean. But of course, there are going to be ups and downs. And there are going to be times where we have to adhere to different situations and be flexible and adaptable. And it's not always going to go our way or be smooth sailing. There are gonna be times where it's challenged and we have to go within and that's what we're asked to do. We're, we're asked to shine light on those cracks within us so that we could smooth ourselves out and make it a little bit easier for us to mold ourselves into who we want to be through that process. 
And the third thing that Clay taught me about spirituality, which we always get reminded about on this path, is that it takes time and it of course is a process. So from the clay experience, right, what I mean is I took it out of the package. It had to be, you know, I had to have this idea of what I wanted to do. I had to shape it, mold it, you know, fix it, restart, reconstruct, all those things we talked about. And then after that, I had to let it dry. And that took about two days to actually let it sit outside, dry. And then from there, I was able to add layers like paint and decorate it and add the candle and make it to my finished product. So from idea, you know, conception to completion of my product, that was a process, different steps, and it took time. There's a space in between. And I think that that is a lesson in spirituality overall, because this journey is not a day. It is not for the faint of the heart. It takes a, a lifetime to go through this journey, to keep evolving, to keep creating, to keep, you know, molding yourself again into that person that you want to be. It is a step-by-step -step process and an evolution and you must keep at your own craft, which is you. <laughs> you are your own craft. Leave a comment below. Have you ever worked with Clay? Is there a lesson that Clay taught you that I left out of this video? I would love to hear from you. And as always, please remember to subscribe and share if you think anyone else would like this video. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay hopeful.